In one of my previous videos, I went into detail about how the current StatCast system is set up. StatCast is comprised of two systems, TrackMan and Chiron Hago cameras. But since then, news has come out that the MLB may be completely overhauling the current system. Here's everything I know so far. StatCast was introduced into the MLB in 2015, and prior to that, the PitchFX system handled all of the data needs. Then, in 2015, the MLB made the jump to TrackMan, which we covered in the video I showed earlier. This system was impressive, and the sport wouldn't be where it is today without it. But recently, it was announced that the MLB may be moving away from its partnership with TrackMan, as its tracking technology of choice. Multiple sources have confirmed that by the 2020 season, there will be a full-scale reboot of what the StatCast system is comprised of. This would bring us into a whole new era of technology, and this system is called Hawkeye. Hawkeye Optics is an optical tracking system that uses cameras and a complex computer system to visually track items on the field of play. Wait, no, not that Hawkeye. This Hawkeye. It's a Sony-owned company that is most famously known as the software that aids in tracking in and out calls in tennis, but it's also used in numerous other sports as well. But now, it may be breaking its way into professional baseball. The system utilizes multiple high-speed cameras set up strategically around the field of play that triangulate positioning of whatever the system is tracking. For tennis, there are 10 cameras, and I believe once the system hits the MLB, there will be 12 mounted cameras around the stadiums. The way it works is it takes each frame sent in from all of the cameras around the stadium, and a computer system identifies the group of pixels which corresponds to the image of, let's say, this baseball. It then calculates for each frame the position of the ball compared to at least two other physically separate cameras at the same time. And the kicker is, it can provide all of this feedback in near real time. Now, unlike the current setup, where TrackMan tracks the ball and the Chiron Hago cameras track the players, this new system will have it covered all by itself. This new system will still track some of our favorite metrics such as a player's sprint speed, their location on the field, but it's going to open up whole new areas as well, such as a player's bat path and even their limb positions. So what is the reason for this switch? Let's start by comparing the two different systems. The main difference between the two is the way the data is gathered. In TrackMan, like we covered in that other video, the data is collected using transformed military-grade radar tracking technology, while Hawkeye uses a combination of multiple cameras set up around the stadium the main faults with TrackMan have been the questions asked about the validity of the data. As for one, it can't track gyrospin. We'll jump into this concept in another video, but just know that every single pitch has some amount of gyrospin. And then one main reason are that there have been tests that showed that TrackMan missed over half of the pop-ups and as much as one-fifth of the ground balls when compared to the old PitchFX system. The benefits of Hawkeye are that because it's an optical system, it backs itself up by using multiple imports, and the measurements are down to the millimeter. And as I said earlier, there are several new features that should blow open massive amounts of new research and development. So TrackMan is seemingly on the way out of Pro Parks, but does that mean that this technology is going to be obsolete? Personally, I don't think so. TrackMan has changed the way the game is viewed over the past four years. It gave us never before seen statistics like launch angle and exit velo and spin rate. And while it may have been dethroned as the top technology at major league parks, it's still a staple in so many minor league stadiums and even several collegiate ballparks. Just based on my speculation, I would imagine that TrackMan will remain at these locations. To me, I don't think TrackMan is down for the count quite yet. All in all, I believe this is a good move for the game of baseball. It shows that the league is constantly trying to improve itself, even when the old technology was working just fine. This new revolution is going to open so many new doors to items never seen before and that have never been explored. Whether the overall happens this next season or a couple seasons down the road, I'm excited for what's to come. So if you liked today's video, please leave a like. Click the video on the top right if you'd like to see more of my content and subscribe for more weekly baseball animations posted every Tuesday.